Philippines hashtag cancel Korea in a Korean and Japanese perspective. I wouldn't be the me of now without the Philippines. A Japanese, I get a lot of those comments on my YouTube channel as well, like saying, like, I hate Japan. Reviews with current events. Has granted with special powers. Reviews with interesting stories. Sikorsky S70. Reviews with thrilling facts. Coronavirus. Apps and thrilling videos. This is MIL Teacher Sir RJ, where you can get your daily dose of reliable information. Filipina TikTok star Bella Porch started a fire on social media after netizens took notice of her left arm tattoo, the Rising Sun flag. Imperialism, as well as the East Asian nation's action in the Second World War. Due to Imperial Japan's treatment of Korea while under its colonial rule, the flag to this day remains offensive for Koreans. To Koreans, the symbol seems to be counterpart of the Nazi Germany swastika. It is considered to be highly offensive in their culture. The backlash went as far as insulting Bella with racial terms and Filipinos of being poor, ugly, short, and uneducated, which led to hashtag cancel Korea and hashtag apologize Korea to trend on Twitter Philippines. Bella had apologized online on September 6 and clarified that she loved Korea and she did not mean to hurt anyone. She also promised to have her ink removed to correct the mistake. I will have the tattoo removed or do a cover-up. I did not know the history behind the tattoo and I will educate others about it. The content creator wrote. Some Twitter users also share their own experiences of discrimination from the Koreans. While others are posting comedic contents, here are some of the tweets. Koreans also expressed their sympathy and apologized to Filipinos as the vlogger Jessica Lee read comments from her previous vlogs. Hey guys, it's Jessica here. Two days ago, I uploaded a video on my channel sharing my thoughts about the trending issue of hashtag cancel Korea in the Philippines. Going through the comments now, the first one is, it's only right that you, the hate commenter, apologize. Who are you to disgrace the whole country of Korea? Korean netizens, Please don't put up unreasonable posts without thinking. Thirdly, I apologize on behalf of those who are disparaging the Philippines. We are not ungrateful people. Please understand that it's only a very small group of people who express negative emotions. Most Koreans think that Filipinos are our brothers who shed blood for us. I will educate my children and their children to remember how Filipino soldiers in early 20s shed blood by fighting for our country which was extremely unfamiliar. That is right, I also mentioned this in my previous video and history should never ever be forgotten. It should always be remembered, it should be honored. Of course, I cannot mitigate the scars and pain that you received from this incident but I still hope that we all learned something, we all learned a lesson from this issue all together for both Korea and the Philippines and I hope to continue to make positive connection with each other. For those who don't know me, I've lived in the Philippines for about a total of nine years. I studied there, I graduated my high school there, I have lots of memories there and I wouldn't be the me of now without the Philippines. The Philippines is really the part of my identity and my personality and at the same time I also come from a Korean background. So I have a deep affection for both countries and I really hope that we are healed eventually and spread love and be in peace. You know, all love here guys, all love. Also, YouTube vlogger Ryu React Japan also admitted that he gets a lot of hate comments and urges people to use hashtag cancel discrimination and hashtag cancel racism than hashtag cancel Korea. 
Hi everyone, it's Ryu from Japan and today I got a request from my Filipino viewer to share my thoughts about this hashtag Cancel Korea. As Japanese, I'm really sad that this is happening right now in 2020. And I am really angry towards this um, nasty, like racist comment sent toward the Filipino people because um, as Japanese, I get a lot of those comments on my YouTube channel as well, like saying, like, I hate Japan. That's a feeling that everybody has, you know. If somebody talks bad thing about your country, it hurts your feeling. So don't do something that you don't want other people to do to you. We learn history to make a better future and better world. And I am really looking forward for a world that everybody in the world can spend peaceful days regarding of what happened in the past. And cancel Korea hashtag, I understand that many Filipinos people want to use this hashtag to show hatred towards Korea and I feel it is better to use hashtag cancel racism or cancel discrimination and make a better world towards everybody and I really hope that all Filipino people and Korean people and Japanese people unite together and make a better world. Before the issue surfaced, the Philippines is known as one of the biggest supporters of South Korean entertainment and pop culture. On the other hand, South Koreans are attracted to the low cost of English language education and housing in the Philippines as compared to those offered in their country. They also love the warm climate of the tropical island. The similarity between the political histories of the two countries is evident as well. Both were colonized nations in the past, with Korea under Japan and the Philippines under Spain and later the Japan and US. If you like this video, please click subscribe button below and we have more videos for you. Thank you.